were you sitting were you sitting here or here? Because I had you at a good Yeah, right there. Right here? Yeah. Where I'm at? Or? Yeah, right where you are. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the LKB vlog. So today we are at Bull and Lambo refereeing a, a host of youth matches, and this is my good buddy Joey Swanson. That's me. And uh, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn a little about Joey today. So how you doing, Joey? I'm doing good. How are you? Very good. Good. Where are you from? I am from Austin, Texas. How did you get your start in rugby? Uh, my my dad played when we were stationed on Guam and I watched him for a season or two, and then I joined my local high school team in the Southern Dolphins, played with them for a season, and it was the best sports experience of my life. Did you play sports before that? I did, I played baseball, a little bit of football, um, I ran track, so I, I had my hands in everything, but rugby was the first one that really jumped out to me. So, what was the jumping out bit of rugby? Like, what made rugby so special and so cool? The camaraderie, mm. um, I was, I was playing for a local team on Guam. I was, I was the only white kid on the team. Um, and these kids were bigger, stronger, faster, just better athletes in every way. So I kind of felt like I was stepping into the lion's den. Mm. But they were the nicest guys. Really friendly, really open. Um, just, I, I couldn't have asked for a better first experience with rugby, so mm. I was hooked. And then how did you come to refereeing? I played for Texas State University. Um, we were playing the the University of Texas Longhorns for the state championship and uh, I broke I broke my hand and had a pretty long recovery and just decided that my options were competitive men's club rugby or uh, officiating um, and my coach who was a referee himself said that I should give it a try and then I fell in love with that and uh, and here we are in South Africa three years later. <laughs> so you've been refereeing for three years? That's right, three years. Uh, do you have a favorite moment from back home or like a, a coolest experience in regards to refereeing? Um, my, I would say probably my, my best experience as a ref would have to be uh, the Mexican national team came through mm -hmm. Texas on, on sort of like a friendly tour and there were a line of referees who were supposed to referee like a Texas all select team versus the Mexican national team and through a series of unfortunate events, the <laughs> other referees dropped out, and I was the last one at the field who knew how to referee rugby at all, so I, I refereed that, and um, and that was probably my coolest experience, getting to referee national players. Mm. I guess that means I have a test, right? Can I say that? A quiz? Depends yeah. who you're saying it around, <laughs> yeah. I think. By the way, how does this look? Is this okay? It's, it's fine. Just... It looks better than this. Okay, yeah. Um, and then, do you have a coolest experience in South Africa so far? How long do I have to think about it? <laughs> uh, my best riffing experience here? It just we can do well if there's two, we can do a riffing experience or a rugby experience and a non-rugby. Well, I'll tell you, experience. I'll tell you hands down my most memorable experience here. One I'm gonna think about when I'm on my deathbed is when we went to Hans Bay in uh, the hopes of seeing of diving with great white sharks. Um, we weren't able to do that, but we did spend the night mm. at Skulk Skulk's grandfather's house. Um, he lives in the Skulk's green. that guy. Right out there. That's right. <laughs> the guy in the green shirt on the green field. Can you see him? Um, but uh, Skulk is South African. His grandfather lives in Hans Bay, where we went to do our shark dive. And yeah, uh, me and, and Chris actually and James spent the night on the lawn in sleeping bags um, underneath of the most beautiful stars I've ever seen in my life. I was smiling for an hour as I fell asleep. Um, I mean, really, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in nature, and so I will remember that forever. That's probably my best experience here. Uh, uh, from a refereeing perspective, um, I would say probably my, my first league match yesterday. It was uh, hostile rugby at Stellenbosch, and we've done second, third, fourth league, but this was first league, so these are the, you know, hypothetically the best hostile rugby players at the university. And it was fast, it was intense, I had tough management calls. Um, and uh, it just kind of tested me in all aspects of my officiating, so that was probably my best experience. Cool. Yeah. Uh, do you have a biggest, <clears throat> biggest learning or a biggest takeaway from your time training here? Fitness is everything. Mm. So you can spend a ton of time in the classroom, uh, you can study film, but if you're not fit and you can't keep up, everything falls apart. You have to be there. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm really hoping that I'm able to stay committed and dedicated to that, this type of intense training when I get back home. So. 
Everywhere on Earth has a referee shortage. Is there any message you'd like to say to those considering refereeing or beginning referees? Uh, this might be my personal experience and, and therefore doesn't really apply appropriately to everybody, but I would say that if you gave your everything, the average person gave their everything to becoming the best player they could, and then they gave their best to becoming the best referee they could, I would say that you have the opportunity to go a lot farther mm -hmm. as a referee, period. Um, there's no way that I would be sponsored financially to travel internationally to play rugby. I would certainly never be sent to South Africa for three months to train as a player. Um, and, uh, and as a referee, my rugby IQ has skyrocketed. I'm, I'm as fit as I ever was as a player, um, but that's kind of just my personal choice. But I would just say to anybody who's up and coming, um, or anybody who is a referee and is trying to figure out ways to recruit, um, let, let those potential future referees know that rugby's back in the Olympics now. Um, we, we've got a World Cup, we've got a need for referees all across the country. Um, so the sky's the limit if you're a referee. And lastly, is there any words of advice for the future generations of American referees who come to train in South Africa? Uh, don't come with any expectations. Don't come you know, hoping or thinking that you're going to do X, Y, Z. Come here with an open mind and just be ready to give your, your best. It's a different culture. It's a different game. The players, the refs, the administrators, the, the fans, everything is different from what you're used to if you're not from South Africa. So come here ready to adapt. And uh, and just know that if you do that, you'll be the you'll be the best ref you can possibly be. What's your favorite word? <laughs> My favorite word would have to be fortitude. What is your least favorite word? least favorite word is definitely 100% cynicism. What turns you off, sorry, what turns you on creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Time alone. What turns you off? Power outage. What is your favorite curse word? My favorite curse word is shit. What sound or noise do you love? The D minor chord on an ukulele. What sound or noise do you hate? A bad ref whistle. That was a good one. Skull. So. What profession other than you other than your own would you like to attempt? I'm a social worker, so anything other than that I guess. Um, and it would have to be a boat captain on a dive tour. Hmm. What profession would you not like to do? Accounting. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I watched all your games, you're a great ref. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Joey. Another high five. Thanks, man. <laughs>